Welcome. This is a Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 8th, 2019. I'm Scott, and joining us is Coach Rob. We're going to be taking a look at the market, see if there was opportunities to make uh, a little bit of money in a short period of time, and to do it without putting our money at risk. A lot of times people talk about stock options like there's huge risk. And uh, we think that when you take a look at inflation, and you put your money in the bank, you're taking a massive risk because there's a really good chance that inflation is eroding the purchase value of your money. So rather than put it in and get 0.5% or 2% or 1% a year, we're looking at uh, taking a few minutes, usually under 10, and seeing if we can get in that 7 to 12% return on our money in a very, very short period of time. So. It's January 8th, 2019. I'm with Coach Rob. And of course, the big question is, were we able to make money in the market today? Uh, yes. Short answer, yes, Scott. Pleasure as always to join you. So as we are accustomed to, <clears throat> we'll take a look at the basket on five-minute candles. Zoomed all the way to the end of the day just to see what happened. So big red morning and around the 11, 11 o'clock hour, had some nice green moves and finally got back to opening price. And this is a collection of just the best options to trade uh, for that day. And the system automates that for you. So this is what I'm initially catches my eye on a day like this is what happened that, that morning for that big red bear run down. So let's zoom back to the beginning of the day. And I want to just look at the S&P 500, which is the option code is SPY. So yeah, you're trading an index in this case. And it's a little bit different than trading stock tickers, but realistically, it's it's the same rules apply and the same risk. It's just a little bit slower moving. So I'm going to head forward to about this 1045, 1030 time frame, And SPY was beginning to break below the risk zone and break through some resistance. And this is this is the kind of entry indicators that you're looking for. Just want to see what what spy is going to do. Well, what's it going to do with itself on this day? And you can see as as 10:30 had passed, the market's still in a big red move, and that usually spy will usually mirror the market um, because it kind of is the market. It's a, it's 500 best stocks out there, and right now it's it's arguing with itself. It, seeing do we want to break this big price point of 255 and it's down at the low for the day which the clv of zero or four actually in this case pretty attractive to me so at this point i'd be watching this stock i'd just wait for this time window to kind of pass by and see what it's going to do at the 10:45 hour and that's pretty strong it's a pretty strong move, and we're down at CLV of zero. That's closed location value. That's basically where it is for the day. So it's at its lowest for the day, and this is a good time to buy a put. We've still got the big four, and we're breaking back down below that trend already at 2% after two minutes. And we're getting a little, little pullback, but – and again, this is a low-volume move. Not ideal for us, but you know, you take what you can get, Scott, on a – on a kind of a low volume day as it stands. So this is where I'd be checking out. Mm, what am I looking at? A little bit of resistance. We still got the market actually increasing in power and we're still at the low for the day. So I'm going to, I'm going to follow spy in this case and just see where it gets to now at this point, 9% in a little under, I guess it'd be nine minutes and we're hitting that pivot. So we've talked about RA, RB, SA, SB as being res uh, resistance and support lines. The pivot's the middle one. It's one that the other ones kind of bracket off of. And it's just as strong resistance or support as the other guys are. So I think 9% in just under 10 minutes is a heck of a good trade. I'll close out that put, stop our timer, and we'll check the results. Yeah, nine minutes. 9.2%. 9, 9 and to see for instructional purposes what happened. And yeah, we got another Y point and a retrace of that whole last candle. No good. 
which would have been very, very sad. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, even even so, you, you'd end up, you would have learned a lesson and you would have profited probably like two or three percent at that point. Uh, so it's a lot better to learn the lesson with the replay and also learn the lesson with a coach who will tell you these are the reasons why this is a good time to get out. Yeah, much much lower risk to get out while you got it made in the shade, 9% in your pocket. Just go on and enjoy your day. Awesome. So was there another stock that we wanted to take a look at? Yeah, actually that uh, big red move that we kind of examined in the basket to begin with. I want to go to, actually it's a little bit back in time, so we're not going quite chronologically today, but Home Depot and this is a nice, nice move. So let's let's go and see if we can get a piece of that, Scott. We'll move backwards towards that. It started around 1015, looks like. We'll just see what the conditions were a few minutes prior. So it had tested the benchmark, which is a, a good reference point for a lot of traders out there. It had tested it earlier. We're at around 9.55 a.m. Eastern time. And now after the 10 o'clock hour, we've still got half half red signal. But we've kind of lost uh, our volume. There's a couple peaks of volume coming up right there. And it doesn't look that strong yet. But if you just move forward a minute or two, which I will here, it's starting to break towards the low for the day. And right there, we're at CLV of zero. We've got a whole dollar left for profit planning. And we don't have a ton of resistance or we don't have any resistance in sight, really. So not the highest volume moment and not like full market support, but it's uh, good enough, got enough rules met to, to get in at this point. So let's bring up our buy close, buy put, and move forward just a little bit at a time. So it's a very, very strong big candle that's just forming. and. It's kind of nice to to look at different time scales and see what was happening. And yeah, really we got in as it broke this double resistance line on three minute candles. And if you just move forward to see what's what's happening on that three minute scale, we've still got some market support. We're sitting, hold on, bring the replay controller back up. We're sitting at an 11% gain and we had some resistance. We lost what little volume we did have and we're getting a, a green pullback. But there's also fresh red signal. So for me, I'm I'm happy with 11%. And I would probably walk at this point. But this isn't strong enough resistance for everybody. So, And if you continue down, there there we've hit that, that whole $1.07 that we had for a room. Now it's down to $0.01. Cent. So if you're not out by that point, get out now. And you're Bring hitting out. the pivot line. <laughs> exact uh yeah the pivot is is a pretty strong resistance point so we'll close with a nice 18.8 percent gain beautiful must have been some bad news about home depot that day i don't know <laughs> too many people were buying new houses not enough people were re renovating <laughs> oh yeah possibly and uh, i've got i've got one more treat for you so we went from 9.2% to 18.8%. And now if you've been paying attention to the market these last couple of weeks, they're, well, at least on, on Day Trader Genius software where it sorts out the best options. This guy, Tilray, I don't know much about this. I don't, I re, I don't read a lot of news or watch the news, Scott. Uh, I don't know too much about Tilray. I just know it's crazy volatile. So it has big upward trends and big downward trends. So Suffice it to say, it's a hot stock these days, and it's been moving. So you might see it in a lot of our reviews until until it calms down. So let's take a look at Tilray right around the noon hour. Uh, that would be market time. We'll see where she stands. Okay, so this is what I was talking about: heavy greens, heavy reds, plenty of profit opportunity on the option side. In this case. We're going to look at a call, so on the green side, and I want to just move forward just a few minutes. We'll see how it's shaping up around this maybe the trade summary RC line. So it's already up in the RC kind of stratosphere, 
And if you move forward just a couple minutes at a time, all right, now we're breaking through and we've got a volume spike to support it. We've still got market support. It's been a big green move. So let's go ahead and buy a call and see where Tilray can get us. Oh boy. The candle sizes on the, on this guy, Scott, have been just amazing at times. And you're getting some pullback here, but you're still standing at an 8% gain. So this is this is a decent time to get out because you're near near the high for the day. Right around here was the top for the day. And your CLV of 96 should tell you that, but you got plenty of room. There's not a ton of resistance and you've already broken through that last Y point. And 77 is not the biggest price point. So I would hold in there. And I mean, right there, 23%. That's a that's a good time. That looks like a volume spike around the highest for the day. So a conservative coach Rob would tell you to get out at this point. And I think we should do that. 23% is pretty nice. Yeah, that's big time. Uh, and I think it did charge up a little bit more. But with that size, but yeah, okay. So it got almost to RD. So if you weren't out on this enormous volume spike, you should have gotten out here as it approached RD. Uh, I don't care if it broke above it. It's it's good principles to to exit at that point. Beautiful. So what? How did we do on this day? Well, we got nine point two twenty or eighteen point eight, and then twenty three point three. That is a heck of a Tuesday. Wow, that's a nice day. Beautiful. All right. Well, thank you very much, Coach Rob. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy day and to show us this. This has been the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 8th, 2019. Appreciate you joining us. Our goal is to show you that there's opportunity to make money in stock options in a very short period of time. I think we've done that today. Good job, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.